Hey folks, it's Krista here from Summer Storm Fashions and today we're going through the second box of my 200 pound bulk purchase from ThreadUp. So just to go over numbers, in total with shipping and tax, I paid $409.99. After my discount, it came down to $349.99. I bought 200 pounds. Thank you to the follower that corrected me that was saying 400. I was getting confused because I spent $400 on 200 pounds. Um, so as I've shared before, this is my favorite way to get the stuff that I sell on things like Poshmark. And the way that I do it is the really, really nice items that I get. Normally there's a couple really high end brands. I send those back in the thread up until they sell. That's where I have the best luck selling items that are over 200 bucks. I then have like the mediocre items that tend to be like mall brands that I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. Cause I still like the excitement of getting a small sale. Um, these will normally sell for like 12 to 50 bucks. And then I have my no thank yous, which are items that they're not trash. If an item is ruined or stained, I'll recycle it. I don't send back trash, but there are items that I don't think I can sell. Maybe even if they're a really great brand, maybe they're missing the size tag. And so then what happens is I normally make a couple bucks back a box, like literally a couple bucks because they're so small. But the real bread and bread, bread and butter where I make money is the few high end number, high end items as well as the items I sell myself. So all that said, from our last box, I sent back 49 items and I kept 48. So, so far I've kept 48 items. We'll see how many I keep out of this box. You'll see me sorted into kind of those three piles. No, thank you. High end. Haven't had any of those yet. And ones I'll resell. And I do this in live time. So I haven't seen anything else in this box. I've always made my money back. There's always enough in here and I always will feel like, ooh, like I got some real stinkers, but then I'll be putting things on my mannequin and it'll be fine. So let's see if we can beat last with, um, we kept 48. So in the last box, there was about a hundred items. All right, so this is kind of cute. Um, it's, I don't know this brand. It's Estelle and Finn. It looks cheap. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but this is just a cute pair of printed pants. So I will keep those to relist myself. I got a comment on another video that was like, you need to learn your brands. I know my high end brands pretty well that I look for. And another, my main source of reselling income is I buy really expensive items. Um, and I flip those on thread up. So here's an example of my no thank you item. So this is a sweater. It's fine. It actually feels quite nice, but it doesn't have a size tag or um, a brand tag. Let me just check in here because it does feel nice. There's this tag, but I don't know what it is. Never heard of this. No idea. Lil, I can read cursive, but Lil, illusory, Lil, illusory, I don't know. Um, so this will be going into my um, send back to thread up recycle pile. Well, I'm not going to be recycling. I'm going to send it back to thread up. This looks cheap. It's always tough when I get items and I'm like, I literally have no idea what this is. Is it a dress? Is it a shirt? This looks like that thing from the Lorax. Like I... Is this the neck? Is it like a cow neck thing? Okay, well, I literally have no idea what this is. Kind of looks like a dress, but it's got this long neck thing. Like I... Uh, all right. This is like a cool looking tag. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It says Henri Vendel, right? So it says Henri Vendel, but that looks like it was sewn on over this thing that says Kenzo J-A-P. So 
I'll put that in a new pile that I'm creating called, I don't know, TBD. This feels really nice. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this a poncho? I just want normal clothing items. <sighs> All right, so it looks like this is an armhole. Maybe this is an armhole. All right but there's, I don't see any tags. So this is going to be sent back. Uh, it says garage, but it doesn't have a size. It's kind of like a crop top thing. So that'll be getting sent back. Um, this is a wool skirt. Um, it's one of the newer tags from J. Crew, um, and it's a wool scarf. It looks like it's 100% wool. Feels like it. This reminds me of those things that my girl used to have in her sink. So I'll probably, oh, nope, it's got a stain. So that'll be being recycled. All right, so so far we have one item going strong. I have to say that the last box I got was probably the worst box I've ever gotten. Um, geez. Okay, so this does have a store tag somewhere. I saw it. But it doesn't have a size. It says size assist. So no idea what this is it's sparkly that would have been a fun new year's eve dress but that'll be getting sent back all right this is american eagle tank top absent any defects that i don't see right now as i go through these i'll be listing that myself and taylor extra large black top pretty basic needs to be washed. So I'll wash that and I'll list it myself. This looks like some kind of halter top. Please. All right, this is an Ann Taylor black halter top. So I'll also list that, or excuse me, wash that and then I'll list it. So I used to always get like some good items in these. Um, but it's really feeling just like straight up trash uh, in the last box. I do still have a lot of luck though with the 25 item boxes. I think that they're really taking anything that's decent and putting it in there. Gibson look. Um, never heard of this. I have no desire to list it. So that'll be being sent back. Here is a plaid flannel from Gap. So it's just a cute flannel. I don't know if it's cute, it's a flannel. So I'll be listing that. This looks like some kind of dress. Maybe. <sighs> I have no idea what this is. It just says MG HL. Um, it's a dress. So I'll look that up, but I'll probably just list it. Wow, it's a white sweater. It, and it's got a stain, but I could probably take it out. Who are you? Oh, it's Sheen. All right, Sheen is not worth the effort to remove this stain. So I will be, can you see the stain? Right here. So I will be sending her back. I actually hate the color black, like listing the color black because you can never get it right. And it everything just looks so dirty. This is just a black gap top. Um, I might just list it myself because if I send it back to ThreadUp, you don't get payout for gap. So even if I make five bucks on that, that would be nice. All right. My last box had a ton of like prairie dresses like this. Um, this is Forever 21. 
And it looks like it's just a wraparound dress. I think um, I'll put it on my mannequin and see what it looks like, but I'll probably list that. These have really pretty sleeves, whatever you are. Has these really pretty, just like see-through sleeves. But it does have a brand, excuse me, it's a size large, but it doesn't have a size. But these sleeves are like really cool. I really like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and list that. Gibson. The only thing I know about Gibson is a guitar, but it's a cheap label. You can normally tell if it's cheap if it's just printed on one side and it's not sewn through. See how this isn't sewn through, it's just printed. But does it have a size? It does have a size, so I'll look this up and probably list it again. With stuff like this, if I can get five bucks back, I'm happy. And I just like the excitement of making a sale. Fashion Nova. I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's a super, super crop top. So I'll send that back. This is Ambient. So that's, I think it might be a Walmart brand. Um, what size? Are you a kid size? It's a size small. Uh, I don't think this will fit on my mannequin. Um, this might be a child size small. So if I can do a flat lay, I'll list it. This is a pretty pattern. This is by Old Navy. I might actually see if this fits me. I really like this pattern. If this fits me, I'll probably keep it. <laughs> so I'll put that in my list pile. All right, not a lot of winners, but we're keeping some. So we're moving in the right direction. Okay. TJ Maxx, new with tags, Hollister, swim bottoms. Since they're new with tags, I'll probably go ahead and list them. They do still have the um, safety guard in there. So, um, they do have a black line through them. They sold for six bucks at TJ Maxx. Um, so I'll see what to do with these, but I might list them. It would be nice if we had the top to go with it. All right, this is a dress from Papaya. It's got a uh, size medium. So this is a nice, just simple blue dress that I'll list. So, so far we're keeping some items, which is great. This is a Hugo Boss top. This is really small. I don't think it has a size. All right, the size tag has been cut out, so that's gonna be going back. Uh, great. This is a, still got the sticker on it, Green Bay Packers t-shirt. Um, It's a size small, so yeah, I'll list it. And like I said, it still has the small size on it, so I can list it as new with tags. This is a pair of shorts from New York. <laughs> it's athleisure. New York laundry. I'm not familiar with that. Um, it doesn't look expensive. It looks very cheap. Um, but I'll just double check this with athleisure. Everything looks cheap. So I'll just double check. This is another Old Navy top. I'll go ahead and list that. Oh, we got something white. I guess it's technically cream. This is Faded Glory white t-shirt or white shirt so i'll be setting that back this is like a nice 
Oh, I was gonna. I was wondering if it was hand knit, handmade. It's just a knit sweater. Shawl. I think it's a shawl or like a. Oh, it begins with a poncho. What is it with items that? I can't figure out what they are. Larry Levine. Um, I think it's just a knit poncho, but it looks really cozy. So I'll go ahead and list that subject to any stains. L U K luck. I don't know if that's luck. Um, I'll be sending that back. That's something that looks like velvet. Oh, this is a clueless t-shirt. So I can probably get a couple bucks for that. This is an unbranded crop top. That'll be being sent back. This has a unique feel to it. Staccato. I don't think this has a size. It's made in Mexico. All right, it's got a size, it's a size L, but I'll look into it, but that'll probably be being sent back. This is a pretty blouse, if it's a blouse. Um, IZ Buyer, not, I've seen this before, it's the cheaper brand, but it's a pretty blouse. So I'll be listing that. Uh, it's a pair of old Navy jean shorts. Size four. Oh, even cooler. Jean mini skirt. These actually do well for me on Depop. So I will list that. Oh, geez. Narrated. It's a nice label. Like cheaper brands normally don't have this kind of sewn in label. So I'll look into this. This is a pair of new wood tags. Who are you by? Next level, oh, American Eagle, next level stretch. Uh, new wood tags, pants, size two. So I'll be listing that. This is a fun colored sweater. Debbie Morgan. It's a nice looking tag, but I'm not familiar with this brand. So that's another I'll look into, but this is a nice sweater. If that was in my size, I would wear it. This looks very Y2K. Edartin. Um, there's no size. So that'll be being sent back. All right, Victoria's Secret. New with tags. Um, I guess this is a boat ice, maybe some kind of bra. I'll have to look it up, but since it's Victoria's Secret and the tags are still attached, I'll list this. This is a fun color. Aqua. I think it's just like a halter top. I'll list that. I have no idea what this brand is. It's in cursive and I can't read it. No idea what that is. Man, there's a lot of brands this time around that I don't know what they are. So I'll look into that one. Seventh Avenue. 
New York and Company, size 16. Oh, pink pants, absent, no stains. I'll go ahead and list that. Good luck, Gem. Never heard of that. It's a crop top. I'll look into it. Jacqueline Smith collection. I'm pretty sure this is a JC Penney's. I think it's just a pair of loose black pants. I hate photographing pants. I'll send that back. DG2. I don't really want to list this, so I'll send that back. Sophie Angel. It's another crop top. I'll send that back. This is a pink skirt by Sparkle and Fade. I think that's a Target brand. Um, size medium. I'll list that. It's easy enough. Unbranded sweater, so that will be being sent back. All right, pair of express jeans. Absent any problems, I'll go ahead and list those. This is just a Worthington green short sleeve blouse. You definitely probably get five bucks for that. This is a weird feeling outfit and it's dirty. It's just an old navy active shirt. So I'll be sending that back. A new day. I guess this is like a cardigan. So I haven't seen a tag before, but I'm presuming that this means one size fits most. Do you have size tag? OSFM. Venezia <clears throat> plus size black top. <coughs> I'll list that. Ooh, this is a, I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. This is a cool color, but it doesn't have size or anything. So I'll be sending that back. I think I may just recycle th these items. Um, cable engage. Top, but it doesn't look like there's a size. All right, they cut off the size tag. So that'll be being sent back. BTFL life, no idea what that is. It's a white, very long sleeve shirt. That'll be being sent back. Unbranded white tee. That'll be going back. Go Silk, the original washable silk. Um, I will look into this. Some people really like silk, I don't. I don't like the way that it feels. Um, an unbranded t-shirt. So I'll be being sent back. Vince, here we go. Here's something. Vince doesn't really do well for me, though, so I might send this in with my nicer thread up items. Um, absent there being anything wrong with this. I just, I cannot get Vince to move for me, but thread up always seems to be able to sell it quite well. So. There's something in here that kind of looks like a reindeer. All right. This is what I... Reminds me of a reindeer. It appears to be an unbranded.
skirt. So that will be being sent back. Boyfriend, loose waist. Dang it. I think this is Anna Abercrombie and Finch. Oh, H&M, sorry. So a pair of H&M shorts. I'll list that. Man, so many black things. Black is just such a hard clothing color to photograph. I don't know what this is. I have too many holes, so that's going back. Ooh, this is dirty. It's a sheen dress. Size small, but it's missing a belt and it's dirty. So that'll be going back. Uh, this is some kind of sweater that'll be going back. <laughs> Articles of Society. All right, I'll look this up to see if a size 25 is going for anything. And if not, I'll send it back. BCBG black dress. Let's go ahead and list that. top I don't like I don't think I'd have fun listing this I'll see what it looks like on my mannequin very flowy I have no idea what this is or how you put this on Pop Young tank top. I'll be going back. So it's a Target brand. I think that's a wannabe sports bra. That'll be going back. Airy and Alley. I'll have to look this up, but that would not look good on a mannequin, so I think I'm sending that back. Calvin Klein. I guess these are pants. They don't have a size, so those will be going back. St. John's Bay. Haven't seen that in a while. Top. I might be able to get a couple bucks for that. <laughs> so far, these 200 pound boxes are not looking well. I don't know what this brand is. Just a pair of active shorts. So I'll be sending those back. Old Navy semi-fitted tee. Since I won't get anything for Old Navy if I send it back, I'll keep it. Sheen Loon. Maybe that's like their leisure brand. Oh, this is new with tags. This is an interesting dress or skirt. It's got these ruffles on it. So I'll look into that. This is a remarkably white top considering what it's been through. Unbranded white top. That'll be going back. Uh -huh, this is an airy. Workout pants, so I may list those. I'm getting nervous. I maybe this will be the first box I don't make my money back on. This is just a t-shirt that says Warrior. So I'll be going back.
Okay. We're getting there. I don't know these pants. RSQ. They're like purple pants. I don't think these would photograph well. So the color won't look good on my carpet or my floor, so I'll send that back. Um, unbranded pants. So I'll be sending those back. This is a, I think this is an anthro brand. E coat. Pair of shorts, so I'll be listing those. Phil Love. I don't know if this is iconic, so I'll search the image to see if this is a reference to some movie or something. Um, otherwise, it'll be being sent back. This tag looks really nice, um, so I'll research this one. This is a fun pattern. And there's no tag or anything, so that is going back. A Bayer. That's just a cheap brand. I don't really like that shirt, so I'll be going back. Brandy Melville, but it's missing the tag, so that'll be going back. That's just a gray t-shirt. It has the size, but no name brands or no brand name, so that'll be going back. This looks like it could be a pretty dress. And this is a dress that's missing a size tag and a brand tag, so that'll be going back. Another see-through thing from Garage. So that'll be going back. Frame. So we have a frame top, but it has makeup stains and it doesn't have a size. So, oh, there we go. Extra small, it's up there. So I'll probably wash this and then send it in with my nicer items to thread up. All right. It's another unbranded item. This is an unbranded, oh, it's a swimsuit. Unbranded swimsuit. So this will be going back. I do really like this color, but I don't think it has any kind of brand information. Bummer. The tag's been cut. This is like a pretty embroidered dress. Uh, so that'll be being sent back. Reb and J doesn't have a size. So this will be being sent back. Full Beauty Sport. I'm not familiar with them and I don't want to photograph those pants, so those will be going back. This is just a gap black shirt, but I don't want to photograph that, so that'll go back. Old Navy Pixie Shorts. Probably list these. Gosh, black fabric just does not photograph well. Harper and Ivy. I'll be sending that back. Madison Hill. It's got a really nice tag. So I'll look into these pants. Uh, Caution to the Wind, I think is an anthro brand. 
which is um, a real bummer because there's no size tag. Yeah, so I'll be setting that back. Print story, that'll be going back. I don't know what these are, but those will be going back. This is from Karen Scott, but it's kind of like a work top. So I'll probably list that. Man, my house looks like something exploded. Love 21, I don't know what that is, um, but that'll be going back. Okay, this is it. And there's something has bells on it. <laughs> Banana Republic shirt, I'll list that. Um, this looks like some kind of tennis outfit. This looks like some kind of, oh, nope, it's a swimsuit. But it's missing the tag, so that'll be going back. Um, this is an MLB Pirates shirt, so I'll be listing that. This does have bells. It's an ugly Christmas sweater with dogs and cats, but it, do you hear that? So I'll go ahead and list that. Moa Moa, I'm not familiar with that, but it looks cheap. I'll be going back. This is a pretty embroidered shirt. Doesn't have a size though. So I'll be going back and last and probably least. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Vimia, not familiar with that, but it doesn't have a size tag, so that'll be going back. So, better than my last box, but still not what we're used to with these. I'm disappointed, but that's okay. I just do these because they're fun. Just bums me out because it's like 360 bucks. But if you stayed this long, thanks. And we got two more to go. Maybe, maybe it'll be something good. Thanks. Bye.